Welcome to part 3 and the final video tutorial for creating complete 3D vector crisp machines using Adobe Fireworks. This scene you see before you now is the finished product of the lesson series. Enjoy and Merry Christmas. Okay, now I'm going to draw a tree. I'm going to grab my pen tool and I'm going to go maybe somewhere right up around the top here. Click down, let go, and go right about here. Click down, hold, but don't let go yet. Drag, contour that line. Click down there, make a sharp corner point, then come in just a little bit and give it a little bit of a curve there. Click down here, make a sharp corner point, and then we're going to make about three or four levels just like that using that same technique as I go down. Okay, now when I get down to the bottom, I'm just going to have that last point. I haven't clicked to make a sharp corner point on that last point yet. So what I'm going to do is make it a little wavy line until I get to the center. I'm just going to wave it around a little bit. Pull it. Stretch it. Make it a little wavy. Then click down here in the center. And if it doesn't become a perfect center line when you close up that shape, don't worry about it. You can go to your sub-selection tool, click any point that you want, and move it until you do have a perfect line. Then. I'm going to go and give it a white fill just for now. Remove the stroke on it and move it over more to this side. Press Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Flip it horizontally. Put them two together just like that. And then press Shift while you're selecting those and select both of them. You're going to go to Modify, Combine Paths, and Union. And in your union process, if it happens to have that seam in the middle left over like mine does, don't worry about it. That's no problem. It's not going to affect anything we're doing. And you can try many, many different shapes. You can try it very thin, tall, like that. Or you can try in big, fat, wide trees like that. I'll try mine thin and tall like that. Now I'm going to go to the fill color, make it this dark blue of the land here. And I'm going to scale it. I'm going to hold shift while I scale it so I don't lose the proportion that it has. And I'll just scale it down to about the size I want it doesn't have to be precise. And then I'll go to Filter, Shadow and Glow, Inner Shadow. I'm going to make sure that Inner Shadow is white. Let's take a look at that. And the directions are already set up for the exact direction that we need if the tree is on this side. If you have your tree on this side, you'd want to make the light source hit it from the other angle. Okay, so that looks pretty decent to me. So I'm going to scale it down to about the size where it's going to live out there. And then I'm going to highlight this shape, this snowman, I'm holding select as I highlight all these things to select them all together. Snowman's shadow and then this shape here. So I have those four things selected. I'm going to bring those to front. Control, shift, up arrow key. And that put my tree to the back, you see? Because I want this to look like a far off distant forest right around there of pine trees. So I'll press Control C, Control V, make a copy of that tree. And then I can shrink it or scale it up, make it bigger if I want. But I'll just pepper those through there so I have a whole bunch of them back there. Different sizes in different locations. Now with these trees, you want to be careful that the ones in the back are always the smallest. And the ones that are in the front are the largest. Or else it'll look a little funny. Okay, so that's what that looks like. And I'm going to highlight all of those trees and hold select as I highlight them. I'm going to put them into a group. So once I get them all selected, I'm going to press Control G. Now they're a group that I can then manipulate. If I wanted to manipulate, for instance, the height to make them really tall and skinny or really short and fat, I'm going to make mine a little shorter actually. And then I can scale the whole thing by holding shift at the corner and it'll scale all in proportion like that. And I could even drag that in front of the moon if I wanted to where some of the trees would be in front of the moon if I wanted to do something like that. But I don't think I do. I'm going to leave mine right there because I think that looks pretty good. And if you want you can darken the color of the fill color on all of the trees while they're grouped like that. Okay, now all we have to do is get Santa going across the moon with the reindeer. So, I already have mine set up and ready to go. Let me zoom in on it so you can see what it consists of. And what I did was I went to Google and I 
searched images for reindeer clip art and Santa sleigh clip art. And I found some examples of uh, Santa driving the sleigh. So what I did was copied one of the reindeer that I could find, or really I traced it out using my pen tool, and then I just duplicated that a whole bunch and threw it around through and put enough to make it look like a team of reindeer. And then for Santa it was the same thing. I kind of just got a general feel for how the sleigh should look and then it took me a few minutes to draw it out with my pen tool or if you could just find it ready made you'll be all set or else you'll have to use your pen tool like I had to and you can make yours very unique as well just by using your pen tool you can use reference from other clip art that you see but use your pen tool to make yours your own so I'm gonna highlight that press control C go back into the scene we're working on here and press control V once he's in there I can position him any way I like and size him to be any size that I want. That's not a bad size right there, actually. And I'm going to rotate it just a little bit like that. So it looks like he's going up a little bit. Right there. Maybe I should have Santa in the middle of the moon. Now let's give Rudolph his shiny bright red nose. So let's zoom in. And what I'm going to do is just grab out an ellipse. And I'm going to put it right there on his nose. I'm going to hold shift while I draw it out. I'm going to make sure that's solid, and maybe we'll do a bright red, see how that looks. We can also give it a glow filter. It's a little bit too big. Let's make it too wide and too high. That looks good. And that's the perfect spot. So, let's go ahead and highlight that. Go to the filters, shadow and glow, glow. Let's see what that looks like. At 100%. That looks pretty darn good. You can adjust that glow factor. But I like that right there. That looks good to me. So I'm going to grab the nose and all of the reindeer with Santa and control G and group that. Just in case. So if I move this, the nose stays with Rudolph. See? No matter where they go. I and mean, you can really just play with this all day and make it awesome. As much time as you put into it, that's how great it would be. So what I'm going to do is select this. And I'm going to just put one more set of tree or forest over here. I'm going to flip it horizontal. Okay, I'm very satisfied with that. So now I'll show you a nice text that you can put, a nice font rather. So let's click down there and type in Merry Christmas. And I'm going to change that to white. And the font is Scriptina. So if you want a nice font for greeting cards and other fancy things like that, this one does nicely. So you just stick your Merry Christmas wherever you want it. You can even give that a little bit of a glow. If you want that to have a glow effect to match maybe the aurora and get that aqua aurora color bring that down there you go softens up those edges a little bit and then since you have a work of art now you can sign it bring down the size on that i'm going to make it dark blue put it about right there i'll add a drop shadow make it white make it two over here it's depth make this maybe one or two two looks good there Bring it up just a little bit. And there, that looks really nice. And I'm going to even bold that out. Make it a little bit smaller. Perfect. Now it looks like it's kind of etched into the snow. Alright, there's your work of art. Have fun. And if you guys do anything really fantastic, give me a link and let me check it out, okay?